I'm Emily from Making with Mommy, and we are here today to share with you the completed um, redecoration of our Plan Toys dollhouse. If you're just joining us, we have been working on decorating the Plan Toys Victorian dollhouse for a couple of weeks. It is a beautiful product that we have loved playing with even before we did this remodel, and we love that it's both um, beautiful and sustainable and will last us for years. So we're going to give you a little tour of the inside and what we've done to the outside of the dollhouse next um, and tell you how we did it. So we're going to start by giving you a little look at the outside of the dollhouse. So the first thing you'll notice is that we did paint it. Um, I used acrylic paint to paint the dollhouse. Um, took a couple coats of most of the colors and then used a non-toxic earth safe sealer. Um, to keep it from scratching. So once the painting was complete, we added this paper behind the windows. So you can see it's actually attached on the back side with some blue tack um, to give them curtains, to give it a little, whoops, hold tight there, buddy. Give it a little visual interest and add some color to the front of the house. On the doors, we attached some of the same paper, again with blue tack, so it's all removable and changeable. We've made some little flags on a couple of the window sections, a pipe cleaner wreath, and then two cardboard planter boxes on the basement, which is our bottom level. Our dollhouse, um, the dollhouse is the top three floors, and then we also, hang on just a second, we also have a basement. So these cardboard planter boxes were made with cardboard and hot glue. I glued pipe cleaners around the edges um, and then added some faux plants inside. They are also attached with blue tack to the building so they can be removed and changed at some point. Okay. You wanna show them something? We're gonna start giving you a peek at the inside. So we'll begin with our basement section, which is on the bottom. What rooms are in here, buddy? What do we have in the basement? A table. A table. A couch. Couch. A fireplace. Bookshelf. And a bookshelf, yeah. So we have some plant toys, food. some food that you made. Yep, let me sh show okay. them a few things, okay? We have some plant toys furniture that we've incorporated, but then a lot of what you see on this floor in particular is made from cardboard. Can you back up for just a second? I'm gonna bring out our couch. So this couch is made from a few pieces of cardboard and glued the, together. And the pillows. And there are some off. pillows, yeah. There are beads on the bottom as feet, and then I covered it in fe with felt paper and pipe cleaners just to make it look a little more dressed up. This table is also a cardboard piece, so it's cardboard across the top. Move that. And then um, this cardboard tube from toilet paper um, and it's roll. Really cool. Yeah, thanks. We covered those in paper. Mm -hmm. Our fireplace is made out of cardboard. And I decorated the wood. You did, you painted the paper for the wood and the fire. We have some pictures from magazines that we cut out and put above the fireplace. Wait, did you make a clock? Similar here. Did you make a clock? I cut one? that clock out of a magazine. Similar here on the bookshelf, this is made from a piece of cardboard, so it's just 2D, it's more of a decoration. It's not really 3D, um, but it still adds a lot of character to the house. And then we have pieces of paper for the books and magazine pictures. And we have these books. Absolutely. Something that I wanted to add throughout the whole house were plants, just to brighten it up and make it feel a little more exciting. So there's a few different types of planters we created. This one is just the lid from a milk jug that we glued some fake plants into. These are some little wood pieces that we painted. And this is an old um, yarn, um, sorry, thread spool. Um, so there are a lot of different small things that you can use to create these kinds of planters in your dollhouse. So here's our second story. Before I get to that, I will show you that we've used wallpaper and a little bit of scrapbooking paper 
on the walls in the house. On some mm -hmm. of them, I just did the back, and then on some floors, I did all four walls. Mm -hmm. These are attached with um, blue tack, um, like a sticky tack that you can uh -huh. use to hang pictures, mm -hmm. which means they can be removed and changed. So everything on the inside of the house is removable. The paint on the exterior is not, but the inside of the house can be changed. So if you wanted to decorate it for a holiday or something like that, you could put up brand new wallpaper. Mm -hmm. My favorite space in the house has ended up being the kitchen. Um, we have a little chef peg doll in here right now, but I'm going to take the kitchen out and show it to you because the whole thing is made of cardboard and comes out in one piece. So this is actually a box from some of our Play and Toys furniture. I cut and used hot glue to make the shape and then we added in um, this little silver dish that we found as a sink, we cut a hole so it sunk down inside. You could use any sort of small container or lid for that. You want to tell them about the faucet because that was your idea. What's it made I out of? I put the, the oh, water. Okay. Um, we used a pipe cleaner for the faucet. We have some more cardboard over here that I painted black and glued on for the stove and the oven. This little back piece is just glued on. And then these are our magazine pictures that we cut out because they looked like fun kitchen decor and glued them on. This is such a simple thing to create that can really be so much fun in a dollhouse. You can make a lot of furniture yourself, um, especially if you're on a budget and you know the house is your big investment. Um, the furniture is something that you can really do that adds a whole lot of character. We have some artwork in these rooms, another little plant. Hold on just a second, from a magazine. Um, we made a faux window in the back that's kind of similar in shape to the windows on the outside Mommy, of the house. Mommy, no, I. What do you want to tell I wasn't them? about to tell you. I'm going to talk about the window. Well, tell us about the window because you helped with that. What do you remember about making the window? I remember about making holes and I can see the outside. Yeah, we found that picture in a magazine, right? It looks like uh -huh. they're looking outside their house. We've got some little shelves on a couple of our floors made of cardboard to too. Go for it. And it has three it little does. plants. Little plants. And here's another planter and made from Bobby. what kind of lid? I'm going to talk about the plants. Okay. You're going to talk about all the other stuff that I'm going to help. Okay. And this one is made of um, a yogurt ball pouch. Uh huh. Lid. The lid from a yogurt pouch. Absolutely. Now, floor up. Here's the so, plate. Our third floor up, we've got a bathroom. This is the Plan Toys bathroom set. We've added paper on this floor and shelves, a little plant and a rug, and then on this side, we made Wait, a grown-up bedroom. You, Go ahead. You talked about this plant. Well, I'm talking about them. Tell me about and the plant. And she says, a your good pouch lid. Absolutely. You can use a lot of recycled lids to make planters and in a dollhouse. Here's a cool little plant. Yeah, that one is a yarn spool. The bed and this table are cardboard. The table is a cardboard top with a painted um, thread spool glued underneath. In the bed, you want to take it out carefully? But does it have any covers? It has paper covers. So it's cardboard. There's a few layers that I stacked uh -huh. up. Hold and on just a second, let me you. show them. All right, and then we covered it with paper. We made a couple of little pillows stuffed with some craft pom-poms you could use. Um, cotton balls for that too. So this is very and simple I, and easy to do. Go ahead and talk about the bottom. And these little thingies are down here to make stand. Yeah, some beads to make it stand up. So that is our grown up bedroom. We've got a few paper rugs. I backed them with felt and just makes them a little sturdier than just a piece of paper. And then again, a lot of artwork. Some of this is paper that we framed with cardboard. Some of these are, wait just a second, magazine pictures that we framed um, just with a piece of paper behind them. Very simple, but adds a lot of fun detail to your house. We decided to make the top floor, the final floor of our house, a kid's room. So this is 
um, kid bedroom furniture from the Plan Toys line comes with this pretty fabric. We put up some wallpaper and then you want to tell them about the art in this room? I made this and that. Yeah, you drew some pictures for us and we framed them with cardboard <clears throat> and paper to hang them up in this yeah, room. Yeah, let me talk about A lot of places you can find art. Ladder to get to the top. Absolutely. And they just climb into the bed. You got it. The bomb bed. And we have a few little toys to go in here. We should make some toys to go in there. I think that's uh -huh. a good idea. Yeah.